Hello everyone, in this video we are going to introduce the face recognition function. First, you will need to configure face detection settings for the first time. On the lower left corner, please go to Start Menu, Settings, AI Event, and then Face Recognition. Select your face detection camera here and go to Detection. Click Enable Detection by IPC. In this parameter settings page, you can set the schedule, duration, snapshot interval, snapshot number, and face size. Duration controls alarm notification present time in live monitor. Snapshot interval means time interval for executing a capture of the same face target during continuous tracking. Snapshot number controls the maximum number of snapshots taken from the same target during a continuous tracking. When the brightness of the captured face is not enough, you can enable face exposure. But please note that it requires IPCs that support this function. Drag your cursor to draw the detection range, and you can set the maximum or minimum size of a detectable face, default is from 3% to 50%. Tick Display Range to Preview. Click Advanced if you would like to save original picture and target picture to SD card. Don't forget to set the schedule. Click Apply to save settings. Click Trigger Mode to go to Face Detection Alarm Linkage Setting Interface. You can set different linkage as needed, such as Voice Prompt, Record, Snapshot, Push, Buzzer etc. For Voice Prompt you would need to upload audio file first, otherwise there's only a none option. You can upload audio in Event Notification. If Snapshot is enabled, current camera will capture images automatically when faces are detected. If push is enabled, the system will send messages when faces are detected. If buzzer is enabled, the system will begin to buzz when faces are detected. If pop-up video is enabled, the system will pop up the corresponding video automatically when faces are detected. If email is enabled, the system will send an email with alarm info and text to added recipient. To trigger camera's automatic recording, Please click Configure here, and move the targeted camera to the right side, click OK to save setting. To trigger alarm out, please click Configure here, select Targeted Alarm Output Port to the right side, and click OK to save setting. The last linkage is to trigger camera's preset, please note that you would need to set camera preset in advance. Now face detection settings are done, click Apply to save settings. The next step is to manage face database. All face groups are shown here. Firstly, please click add an add group to create a new face database group. Click the drop down button to show more details about this group, then add face targets to the group. Click add input information, click select face, you can add new faces from snapshot gallery or external faces. After defining the search date, Click Search, results labeled with green icons are those you can add to database. Choose your target and click Select. Name the target, click Entry to add successfully. You can use the Import and Export entrance to realize bulk faces import or export. For the first time you can choose Export to get a template file. Then click the Face Recognition to go back to AI Event page. Click Recognition. Enable Successful Recognition or Stranger. Click Parameter Settings to set the similarity of the matching face group you can accept. If Live Display is disabled, Detected Target will not be displayed in the Live View interface. Let's switch to Successful Recognition setting. Select your face group, set Schedule, Text Prompt or Voice Prompt. If Text Prompt is set, the text will be displayed on the right side of the Live View interface when target is detected. Enable Alarm Output Pulse as needed, and configure Alarm Linkage according to previous face detection configuration part. Click Apply to save your settings. Steps are the same for setting up Stranger Recognition.
Okay, this is all for the video. Thanks for watching.